all right kid family welcome back to the channel what is going on with everybody so last video you guys seen i was driving on the highway i blew a tire out just massive massive hole right there anyway we were debating on whether we should go with a 215 all around because the 225s on the seven inch rim just have a little bit more play than i'd like and it ruined the steering characteristics of the car. So I was debating on, should I get a 215 all around? Should I just swap all the tires? But as you guys can see, these tires are only about three years old. Pretty good life left to them. No problems at all. But unfortunately, cost basis, we decided to just get one tire. We, we are replacing it with another 225, 45, 17. Unfortunately, it's the most cost effective thing to do since all the other tires are still good. If the other tires had more mileage on them, if, had, if they had regular wear and whatnot, I would definitely, definitely go with the 215. I don't recommend going up a size on these wheels because you just lose your feedback, your agility with the car. So anyway, I got this and I'm looking here at the manufacture date of the tire. And as you guys can see right over here, it's a 2018 it was made on the 25th week of 2018 this one is actually when i got these two or three years ago was a 17 i got them in 17 so you know the tire is not that much older than these i was hoping to get a 2020 tire i mean what is this they probably just gave me an old tire in inventory since i did not buy a full set sometimes i would think they would do that if you're buying a full set like i did back then all of them were brand new manufactured the same year but that's fine it is what it is the, the tire is gonna do it just fine i mean even though these look good man this is like much beefier so i had this wheel in the back but with the new tire i'm probably gonna throw it on in the front just because of the snow and everything it might give me a little bit bonus it might give me a little bit better traction up front one thing i do want to mention is in the winter time i think two years ago i did nick the wheel on the curb in the snow I was I was sliding and I hit the curb and ever since then I did notice a, a slight imbalance on this wheel so that's why I put this wheel to the back of the car but I'm actually glad this happened in a way because now when they rebalance the new tire on here with the wheel weights they might be able to balance it back into spec so you won't feel those vibrations driving on the highway but anyway I'm taking these to a local shop that I've always gone to it's called United Tire. If you're in the Chicagoland region, it's on Harlem and Addison, and they do great work. It's a youth facility. I'm really happy with those guys, man. They do a great job, and you know I'm a picky person, and I can only go to them because I trust them. They don't scratch your wheels like a lot of these places. You'll take them, they'll change your tire as they're taking it off or putting it back on. They'll they'll curb rash your wheel. I remember my buddy just bought a Mazda Speed 3, and they had the black powder coated wheels. He went to get his tires changed. I mean, the car was still brand new because he put in a better tire for the summer and they just scratched his whole wheel. And now you can see white through the black and it's just a nightmare. So this company does a great job. I'm gonna put these things in the car. We're gonna head out there. Anyway, if you guys are staying up to date with the channel, the Civic is doing pretty good. We did a valve lash adjustment on it, videos on there. We got this carbon fiber lip that was from Alexis. It was a custom DIY thing. We just refreshed the headlights on this with 2K clear coat universal. The car is looking fantastic and it's got a long way to go before I retire this car. Meanwhile, I'm working on this Toyota Camry that we picked up. That's actually by subwoofer but we just threw it in the trunk and this trunk is massive man you can fit so much things we got this v6 camry that we picked up for 300 dollars. so we're currently working on it we're fine-tuning it to make this thing a good daily driver for someone we just finished the headlights as well and yeah so i'm in a rush right now because they said they have space available so i'm gonna go there swap these tires out and we'll be good to go on the civic one less thing to worry about All right guys, so we're back. We got the tire that they removed off. And as you can see, that is one long cut right there. This is at least three inches long. I mean, this is no good whatsoever. You can even see me driving on the flat tire. It actually created wear on the sidewall right over here as well. This 
is just a massive massive crack and unfortunately this tire is no good not repairable so we're gonna have to get rid of this I just wanted to show you guys that tire and the aftermath of the unknown thing that punctured this tire I wish we had to get rid of these tires a different way I definitely do a big burnout for you guys but it is what it is anyway guys Stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true. But the world is pretty cold. You might need a sweater.